pages. pages we are starting point. today the introduction, uh, the Hakdama, it's called. It's the Hakdamas Hamachaber, the introduction of the author. Hakdamas Hamalake, the, uh, the, actually, Malake doesn't really mean the author, it means the gatherer, because the Alter Rebbe is claiming saying that he's gathering different statements that he's heard, tr- emphasizing that he's not coming up with new, new insights. He is just a malakate, someone who gathers um, uh, information, gathered uh, statements from uh, previous Kabbalists and teachers and, and writings and so on. And uh, that is what the Alter Rebbe is, is, is doing. So that's why it's called the Hakdamas HaMalakate, the, um, the gatherer's introduction. And this is a um, a, a letter uh, that was sent to uh, the Anshe Shlemenu, means the people of our community. Uh, and it's also abbreviated as Anash. Anash is a term used. Um, I don't know if it's so popular now, but uh, because the Alter Rebbe wrote it, so in Lubavitch, it's used, it's called Anash. Uh, but Anash means the community. Anshe, it's, a, it's an abbreviation acronym for Anshe Shlemenu, people of our community. Yevarchem Tsurenu V'yishmerem. It's also an, an acronym here, Yud Sadik Vav, you might have it as, a, as an acronym, but that stands for Yevarchem Tsurenu, may Hashem uh, bless them, and Yishmerem V'yishmerem and, and protect them. So. This is the letter that the Alter Rebbe wrote, and um, uh, the Alter Rebbe included this introduction. Aleichem Ishim Ekra. To you I call. This is a Pasuk in um, Mishle, in Proverbs. Shimo Eli Reit Feit Tzedek, Mevakshe Hashem. Listen to me, you who uh, pursue righteousness. And seek out Hashem. The Yishma Aleichem Alekim, and Hashem will listen to you. Lumigodol veAd Katan, from the greatest to the smallest, Kol Anche Shlemenu, Dimdina Senu, Usmuchay Shalom, all the members of our community, and in our land and uh, and the, the neighboring lands, Ishal Mekaymai, each person. Um, shall go to their place in peace, Yavai B'Shalayim, B'chayim Ad Ha'olam, with blessing of everlasting life, Netzach Salav Ad forever and ever, and Amen Ken Yehi Ratzayim. So that is uh, the first paragraph. Hinei Mudazais, behold it is known, Ki Meragla B'fume D'Inshi, it is, um, Common for people to say, "Bechol anche shlemenu lemar," in all of our community, "Ki ena daimesh mias divrei muser." It is incomparable. The hearing of words of spiritual guidance, lereio kriya besfarim, to see it in books, and what the Alter Rebbe is basically going to be emphasizing in this introduction is the fact that people enjoyed coming to the Alter Rebbe for Yechidus, to have private meetings. And the Alter Rebbe is going to be stopping that. By writing this book, he's going to be able to influence the community with, uh, with this book. And uh, it's going to minimize, maybe he'll still have some, you know, private meetings, but it's going to be minimized. And so the Alter Rebbe is bringing up the problem that people have that, you know, that, 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 and, and he's acknowledging it. He's saying, I understand that, you know, you're not going to be happy about this uh, because obviously a book is nowhere near as good as listening physically when I speak to you personally. Um, it's not, you know, when you read it in a book, it's not. It's, it's very different than when you hear from a, a teacher that's uh, live, uh, flesh and blood, and uh, personally talking to you. Um, and Shehakoyre, and the Alter Rebbe continues. Shehakoyre, Kerlepi, Darkei, When you read a book, you read according to 
the way you're understanding things. You're understanding it according to your ability to grasp and where you're standing. In other words, if you had a bad, if you had a bad sleep or you have something going on in your, in, you know, that's uh, maybe not so great. So you might be, uh, your mind might be uh, not able to really absorb uh, when you're reading. Um, and uh, obviously much worse than if you would be listening and seeing me personally discussing this with you. <coughs> so that's, uh, that's one point. Additionally, and if you are confused for whatever reason, you will uh, worship Hashem in darkness. Uh, um, in other words, and you are worshiping Hashem in darkness, it'll be very hard for you and difficult to see the light that's good that's hidden in the books, af ki or even though the content is sweet to the eye, umar pe in healing for the soul. A lot of these are verses in Psalms and um, Ecclesiastes. There's a Pasuk here, or uh, Kitoiv is from Veratius, we just read. Uh, the the Alter Rebbe brings in like uh, numerous verses uh, while he's talking. Miragla bafume de inshi, um, or, or Hine Muda Zois is like a Pasuk in Yeshaya, uh, Netzach Salavaed, well, numerous verses, but the Alter Rebbe is bringing out this point that um, there, there is an issue that, uh, that, that, that you're not going to be uh, having the same uh, level of uh, um, uh, understanding and concentration uh, uh, by just reading it in the book. Ubar Mindain, and besides this concern, Hine Sifre Hayira, books that are um, religious uh, um, books of fear of heaven, Habanuya uh, Malpisechal Anushi, that are based on logic, human reasoning, Bevadai Enon Shavin Lachol Nefesh. They are definitely not equal um, to every single person. Uh, the, the minds of people are not alike. And what that means is if you had a book that explained logically how you should fear Hashem and it gave you its own examples, not, not fully Torah examples, but it based, based, you know, it had examples, logical examples of how you could come to fear Hashem. So uh, that would be a book that's, you know, if you follow the train of thought, if your mind thinks the same way the author thinks, very good. But if you don't think the same way the author thinks of that book, in other words, uh, his examples would not be so applicable. You, you wouldn't find them uh, practically uh, um, inspirational and um, motivating uh, to, 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 to encourage you to have uh, or to feel a fear of heaven because they don't talk to you. So uh, that would be a problem of books that are based on logic. The mind of this person is not inspired uh, or awakened from what your friend would be inspired from. So certain people inspire certain people and certain ways of thinking inspire, you know, their, the people who think in the same way. So that would be one issue of a book. Like our rabbis said regarding the blessing that a, a person makes when you, you recite a certain blessing when you see a large crowd of 600,000 Jewish people. I don't think any of you have ever seen such a crowd, 600,000 Jewish people. But if you would, if there would be such a, I wonder if, the, if this uh, bracha, no, I wonder... Um, the only thing I could think of is maybe Meron, uh, Lagba Omer time. But I, I wonder if they ever reached such a, such a level. That would be interesting to be able to make this bracha of Chacham Harazim. So. But uh, uh, in any event, um, uh, maybe after Corona ends, uh, all the Jewish people who have, would <laughs> often go to Israel and they're all waiting, you know, maybe uh, 
there might be some uh, huge, uh, uh, you know, huge uh, group that comes to Israel, maybe we'll be able to pull off this bracha. But this is a special bracha called the bracha of Chacham Harazim. Now, Chacham Harazim means uh, the wise who knows secrets. And basically what the bracha means is that you thank Hashem, you honor Hashem and praise Hashem, that He understands the secrets of every single person all the different ways of thinking. So when you have a group of 600,000 people, you are able to, uh, you are able to thank, to, to, to praise Hashem that he knows the minds of all these 600,000 people, every single person's mind. And, um, um, and he knows the secrets of every, so that's called Chacham Harazim. Al Shishim Riboy Mi Yisrael, on 60 ten thousands of the, of the Yidin, which means 600,000. Riboy means 10,000, and Shishim is 60, so that equals 600,000. Um, their attitudes are not the same. Uh, it says, just as their faces, in parts of Feim Shavais, in Deyoseim Shavais, their, their, their uh, faces are not the same, and their mind is not the same. And uh, this is a unique bracha, and it emphasizes the fact that every person's mind is different. Uh, like, my, like Nachmanides explains uh, over there, uh, he gives some insight into this bracha um, where um, there was a rabbi that, um, it, it's, based, it's a Talmudic statement where there was a, a rabbi that was very impressed with uh, two other rabbis and he said, I would like to make the bracha uh, on you of seeing 600,000 uh, yidin because you are so wise uh, that I feel that, you know, it would be fitting to even say the bracha on, on, uh, on you. And so that's, a, that's a, 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 a statement in the Talmud. And the other rabbis argued with him, like, how could you, you know, how could you say such a thing? Um, but... Um, when Rabbi Hanina saw this, the, the uh, it's Rav Huna and Rabbi Yoshua, so he he wanted to make that. Uh, uh, Reb, I'm sorry. Rabbi Hanina saw Rav Papa and Rav Huna, and um, and uh, he said, "Seeing you is like seeing six hundred thousand Yidin," and so the Ramban has an explanation there, um, uh, and I believe that. What he was saying, what his explanation was, that they they were so wise, they could understand, or so pr prophetic that they were able to uh, uh, see uh, the uh, and understand uh, every person's mind, so to speak. That that was the way Rabbi Hanina understood or, or felt about these two great great rabbis. So. Um, uh, uh, either they had intuition or they were just so wise uh, to, uh, to be able to relate to all these people. So uh, what, we're, what the Alter Rebbe is bringing here is the idea that um, everyone is, thinks differently and it, it, you know, it's not normal to be able to write a book. It's impossible, I should, I should say. It's impossible to write a book that would speak to every single person. So uh, the Alter Rebbe continues his thought over here. Um, uh, by Joshua, it says he was a person that had the spirit with him, which meant that he could relate to all people. He could relate to, could accommodate uh, the, the spirit of each, of, of, of each individual. So uh, uh, that being said, it would seem impossible to write a book that would be able to relate to every person if it's based on logic. So, Ella, but, Afilu Besifre Hayira, even the books of fear of heaven, uh, that their foundation is in holy mountains, uh, which means uh, based on uh, the writings of the sages. So, this is not your, it's not like a logic, a book of logic of why. Uh, it's, it, it would make sense to fear Hashem, or this is a good idea, good advice, how to fear Hashem. But it's based on, on Gemara, on Medrash, on, um, on uh, uh, other uh, commentaries of the, uh, of, of the Talmud, of the Medrash. So, Medrash, 
Asher Ruach Hashem Diber Bam Umi Lasoi Al The Spirit of Hashem spoke through them. His word was on their tongue. Va'iraisa v'kudsha brichu kolochad. The Torah and Hashem are one, which basically means that the these texts would be divinely inspired, or these teachings are divinely inspired, and v'chol shishim ribe neshamis klolis Yisrael uprotehem all the six hundred thousand souls of the Yidden and their Protehem, their divisions, uprate protehem, their subdivisions, <laughs> that the Jewish people are considered to be a people of 600,000. And, and, and that means that there are 600,000 souls. Now, what do we do? We are, we are much more than 600,000 Jews today. Uh, the, 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 how could it be? There are only 600,000 souls. So the answer is that there are many people that are connected to a similar soul, They're, the souls are subdivided, the, these 600,000 souls are subdivided and some people are, mm. have a spark from this soul and uh, sometimes you have a few people have a spark from the same or original soul. And that's how you could have more than 600,000 Yidin. And so um, uh, the, all the 600,000 souls, ad nitutz kal shabakalim, to the lowest of the low, the most, uh, the simplest of this, of the nation, B'nai Yisrael, Kulhu Meskashron Ba'iraisa. They are all deeply connected to the Torah. Ba'iraisa hiyam akashera soisan, la Kodesh Baruch, when the Torah connects them to Hashem, Kenoida Bezoihar Kodesh, like it's known from the Zohar. The Zohar says that there's three things that uh, are connected the Jew, the Torah, and Hashem. And so the idea is that is um, that that every Jew is connected to the entire Torah. So if you have a book that's written on logic, that book might only speak to certain people. But if you have a book that's written on words of that's based on, solely on on uh, on uh, teachings of the of the of the of the rabbis, so that book would definitely have something to say to every single yid that would be a um, that would be a, a book that's yesoidosum baharre kodesh would be the way the alter rebbe is term, terming that book its source is based on the on holy mountains meaning on on all on medrash on medrashe tachamenu on the teachings of the rabbis and hare ze derach klolos lechlolos yisrael nevertheless even such a book would 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 really speak to the majority of the Yidden. There's always individuals that might be um, that it might that you know that that would so to speak fall through the cracks or not. It wouldn't really speak directly to them. In general, every single Yid is connected to every single part of the Torah, but there might be certain parts that a person might be more inspired from and another person not, and so. Even such a even such a even such a book, which is great, it still has its limitations, and um, of course, every halacha is applicable to every single yid. But there might be certain points in a medrash that might not speak to you; it'll speak to someone else, and therefore, um, um, you may ask that this is not really the best way. To uh, you know, to end uh, end uh, my uh, private audiences by writing a book because it's there are going to be people that are going to fall through the cracks. The Afshenitna Taira li Darish, and even though the Taira was given to develop ideas from li Darish bechlal uprat uprate pratis to um, to be expounded upon. Um, and so every person should be able to get something to every single prat, every subdivision, uh, I guess, of the souls or every single individual of the Yidden that is, um, has its roots, that his, his soul is rooted in the Torah energy. 
and hare ein kol adam zeichalias makir makayme haprati b'teira. Nevertheless, not every person merits to identify his specific part of the Torah. So, uh, therefore, um, you know, it, it, it would it it could be problematic writing this book. Vehine af behilchas iser beheter. Now, even in cases of law, haniglais lanu ulavanenu that are revealed to us in our children. Matsanu ra'inu machlekas tanoyim b'meiroim. We have found, we find arguments between the Tanoim and the Amoiroim, the authors of the Mishnah in Brisa, and the Amoiroim are the authors of the Talmud. Min hakotza el hakotza mamish. We find extremes, opinions that are extremely opposite each other. And and each of them, of course, are words of the Holy God, meaning both of them are true, both opinions are true. Even if the halacha sides with one, that doesn't mean that the other one is not true. It just doesn't fit with halacha of this world. But maybe in a higher realm, that would be the right opinion. Or in a, you know, the, 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 that view is still a correct view. It doesn't apply to the halacha level. It applies to the pshat level, to the drush level. Uh, it's not applicable to the, to, to, to the halacha, but it's definitely true. It's elu ve'elu divrei elikim chayim. These and these are words of Hashem who's alive, meaning this is, both statements are alive. So lashon rabim, and it uses the, the plural when it says Elohim and Chaim, it says the words plurally, Elohim and Chaim, it uses the plural because Al Shem Makar HaChaim the Neshama Yisrael, the diversity um, is sourced in the Makar um, HaChaim um, and the source of life. Uh, of the souls of the Yidden. So uh, the reason why um, they are stated in plural, because it stems from the different energies uh, in the fountain of divine emanation. And makar hachayim. They are uh, different energies that the, the final outcome causes there to be different opinions. And Hanechlaka is derech klal, which are generally divided up into three parts. L'shleisha kaven, yamin usmoil v'yemtza. There's the right side, the left side, and the middle side. And what that means is that um, when you have opinions in Torah, generally one is going to be more to the right, kind, uh, giving, forgiving, and so on. Uh, the left would be more disciplined and strict, and then you have the middle, which would be a, a nice harmony between the between the two levels. And um, we're going to stop here, uh, and to be continued tomorrow. Metz Hashem. If anyone would like to ask any questions, you may.